Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Absolutely. So if you would like to follow if you would like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun and enjoy yourself on there. And while you're here, you can check out some of my recent videos. Before this, I posted a video talking about Doja Cat's Planet Her. And before that, I posted a video talking about the bullshit that t black tiktokers have to deal with and then before that i posted a video talking about cruel summer free forms new show so i'm not gonna do makeup today because of this and because i have to go wash out my hair so i'm just gonna talk but before we get started today's video is sponsored today's video is once again sponsored by skillshare thank you so much to skillshare for sponsoring me again thank you so much so you know this but i'm gonna say it again skillshare is an online learning community um, with thousands on thousands of classes for creative and curious people so if you're interested in learning and learning not in necessarily the same way that you would learn in school skillshare is a really good place for you and you can learn so many different paths so many different careers is not the right choice paths so many subjects so many topics for you to find so Skillshare offers memberships allowing you to connect with your fellow creative people and fellow creators. You can even like talk to the creators of people who make all of these classes. And it's a really interesting way to engage with learning and education outside of a schooling setting, which can be traumatizing for a lot of people. So I'm still taking Brooke Glacier's like intro to procreate class because it's hard. So I'm still taking it and procreate is hard. I'm not an artist. It's difficult. Then I also started um, Jordi Vandeput's Adobe Premiere Pro class because I have Adobe Premiere Club. I don't use it currently because I've been trying to do this thing of like learning it myself. That doesn't make any sense, right? That doesn't make any sense, right? It hasn't been working. It hasn't been working. I haven't been able to self-teach myself and edit any software. So I decided to ask for help and my help is this class and it is helping. Now I maybe know what I'm doing and maybe editing will improve. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But the class is helpful and the class is educational. Those are two of the... A wasp are circling my window? Hmm. So that's what that is. So the first thousand people, the first thousand people who click the link in my description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So just to reiterate, the first thousand of the people who subscribe to me who click the link in my description box will get a free month trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring all of the different classes and learning new things if you would like to. So yeah, if you would like to, click the link in my description to get your free Skillshare trial and that's about it. So that is my finish intro. So today, what we, I'm very excited. Today what we're going to be talking about... Oh God. Today what we're going to be talking about is Beyonce. Today we're going to be talking about Beyonce. Today we're going to be talking about Beyonce. Today we're going to be talking about... Where did I rank self-titled? Fourth? And maybe I'd switch it to third now. Third or fourth best album? Self-titled. Beyonce. So when you think of a cultural reset, I know that word has been was thrown around a lot, um, including by me, a past couple of years. But none of that really matters when you talk about the real cultural reset. All of that really goes out the window. We're not we're not talking about that. They're not comparable. Anything I've ever called a cultural reset, sure, it's not comparable to this one. It's not comparable by any stretch of the imagination, by impact, by selling, by influence, by electrifying feeling. None. So today we're going to be ranking the song on Beyonce's self-titled album, Beyonce. Okay. I put my disclaimer at the beginning. If you want to watch somebody that ranks this album the same way you do, Take whatever device you're recording this on, you're watching this on, go to the camera app, turn the camera around, and press record. You okay? So, mm, we'll see what the reaction to this is. We'll see. I th Wait until my top five. I think you should just know that from now, from watching my ranking videos. The top five is amazing. The top 
why it's always amazing. It's the underneath that y'all like to yell at me for. I can't control that. I can't control that. As long as my top five is perfect, I, can, I can't control that. So I'm going to give the worst song on, I'm not doing the platinum edition, I'm just doing like the album. Gonna have to, gonna, mm, I'm going to give the worst song on self-titled to Flawless. I'm not talking about the remix. I'm not, no, don't even, don't even insult anyone like that. It's really an iconic song. It truly is. We're going to definitely need someone else to re-record that speech or to cut out that speech completely. So um, let's get on that. But let me discuss the remix. Let me not waste time with that. Let me discuss the we were all there. We were all there. You had no choice but to be there. If you weren't, I have to pity you. There are so many pop culture moments that I do have to pity you. <clears throat> If you weren't there for the flawless remix era, oh, 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 I'm crying for you. Can you see? You can't fucking tell. This is personally for me the most nostalgic Beyonce album for me because it was the first, I was in like eight when four came out. That's very young. So the first time I have like memories besides like fleeting ones about a Beyonce album is with this album. So it's like I wasn't, I was a child. But I was like 11, so I can remember like a lot of stuff. I remember stuff from when I was eight, but not too much. And then B Day came out when I was like five, so no, too much. And I love it a lot more now, the self titled album, which is why I want to. I don't know if I'm gonna redo the Beyonce ranking video because I kind of feel strongly about self titled shouldn't be in fourth place. I kind of feel strongly about that. We will see. But it's quickly, it's become my most played Beyonce album. Um, second is The Gift, and then third is Homecoming. That's actually, no, second is Homecoming Life, third is The Gift. But the original, we're not talking about the, I'm not, I'm not putting the remix in here. The original song has to be the slow. It has to be the slow. Don't even, like, just think, just take your, sit, sit with it. It's all right. Look at everything else on this list. Look at everything else on this list. And then, you know, transphobia. Mm -mm, I don't want to hear that. So if the flawless remix was here, it would not be last. It would be top six. So don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. But that's what I'm going to give to the worst song on flawless. Next, okay, please don't get angry at me. Next song is Superpower. I don't listen to this song. I don't listen to this song because I don't think it's very interesting. Sorry, I'm very sorry. I, I like I like it. Not nearly as much as anything else on here. I don't play it at all. I don't play it at all that often. So when I was listening to this album on like loop to prepare for this video. That was my first time in a while listening to this song, and I was still like. It's okay. And I was like, okay. I just think compared with some of the other songs on the album that have a similar vibe, it's just not as good as the other ones. I'm like, why would I listen to Superpower when I can listen to something else? On the same album that can give me the same, like, I don't know, feeling. But that's just one woman's opinion. <laughs> that's one woman's opinion. I just think the song is okay. So that's why I'm gonna put it here. Okay, yeah, wait until my top five. Calm down, calm down before we get there, calm down. Okay, the next song that I'm going to rank is Heaven. Sorry. Um, it's actually, it's okay. This song, now we've stepped, I just don't think those two songs are very good. Now we're stepping into songs that I think are very, very good. I just have to rank them low because they're just, they're just not as good as the other ones. Heaven is an amazing song honestly i in my opinion it is so thick yet stripped down and feels vulnerable in a way that other songs on this album don't but it's they're not supposed to and it fits for its purpose in its in this story in the emotional roller coaster that this album takes you on especially like visually if you go watch all the videos which i did which was so wow if you haven't in a while watched the videos from this era all of them go you don't even know you don't e you don't even realize what you're missing we're missing we're, we're missing it all but you know what i'm not gonna harp too much on that 
posing my thoughts on heaven i think it's a solid song i do think other songs on here make me have more fun personally right okay next song right above heaven i'm gonna put blue featuring grammy award winner blue ivy beyonce is a mother beyonce is a world traveler beyonce is a mother no drama blue i have nothing else to say about that song i have nothing else to say about that song it's not my most listened to song but um <clears throat> blue ivy touches it turns to gold so absolutely now right after above blue i'm gonna put no angel do you think this could go higher i'm sure some of you do i will show you why not though i'm right i will show you why not though no so let me talk about no angel the song trumpeting up to heaven that's what it feels like to me it feels like to me so you know how people describe like stairs to heaven i don't really think it's just like plain stairs i'm like it, they wouldn't make that easy so you know it feels like you're walking when you listen to this song it feels like you're walking on like slabs of glass on an ice ring something that would make you slip if you're not super super careful that like that material is what i feel like you're walking up but in step form but so you would have to in order to not like fall over you have to keep yourself like completely rigid and like be able to and keep your movements like almost robotic in order to not fall right that's what i feel when i listen to no angel it feels like you're trying to walk in that way like it's difficult but as long as you maintain this doesn't make any sense but as long as you maintain that position that structure you'll be fine that's what the song gives me it makes a little bit of less of more of no to no sense but it does in my head that's what i feel or if we can not do that just riding a chariot on the back of a pegasus you know like percy jackson also that also that beyonce got loud again on this song and i love it i feel about no angel i feel like completely neutral about it if it comes on i'm gonna have i'm gonna enjoy it but i don't go out of my way to click on it not me personally which is why it's like smack dab in the middle of the ranking because i put it when i was writing them out to rank them i just put no angel in the middle and i did everything else comparing to whether I liked it better than No Angel or less than No Angel. And it's a really good benchmark tool. It's a solid song. But yeah, it's going this low because there are songs on there. It's not even low. Is it? No, it's not. Calm down. It's not low. It's not low at all. It's a pretty normal. It's not like a mid-tier song. I'm right. I'm right. The next song right above no angel i am going to put jealous here mm -hmm. i'm gonna put jealous here my only gripe with jealous is too short it's not even short it's not a short song and it's definitely not short compared to songs that come out now but it's sandwiched between two foot long songs so it is short Beyonce, what was up with that i wanted to go again for one more for, for one more for one for one more verse we could have gone we could have gone for i really i need to be cut off from the source like that and because that is the only reason why it's this low i love this song i love the song jealous so much but it doesn't even sit right with me putting it at this place but i have to because the song is so short you've pushed me to do things that i don't want to do but because this song is so short so i can't i can't i can't in good faith put it above the songs that are excellent and also an appropriate length appropriate length it's not a short it's not a short song i'm exaggerating but do you see where i'm coming from i love the song i really really love the song haunted no jealous i like the song haunted too but i really like the song jealous but i can't the struggle to rank is very very difficult and we have to make tough decisions and length of song does have to do with the tough decisions there are other songs that are long and good but i really really like jealous it's one of my most that's one of my most listened to from this album and it wasn't when it first came out but it is now 
Okay, and then right above jealous. This is, I don't know whether this position is, as I don't know what people's opinion are on 7-Eleven in relation with the other songs on self-titled. Like if they think it's like amazing or if they think it's pretty average. So I'm putting 7-Eleven right here. So I don't know what the reaction is gonna be. So if it's bad, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's not that serious. When we discuss 7-Eleven, we have to discuss the fact that Beyonce, Beyonce's impact passes age. It transforms time. It's not, you don't need to be 30 to understand Beyonce. You hear good music, you hear good music. Cause this song came out when we were what, 11? It's good music. It's one of the best songs that make you get up and dance. What other, name another song that makes you get up in this same tenacity, in the same formation is the answer. Formation is my, at least it's my answer. So she's competing with herself. She's competing. When you describe party and get up music, we're talking about 7-Eleven. We have to be honest. Let's not lie. So it has to go up this high. It's not even high. It's pretty, it's pretty mid-tier in my opinion. It's 11 compared with the other songs on here. You can't even sing it without dancing. I've tried. You can't just sit still and sing it while you're doing homework. You can't. You're gonna get up literally regardless because the song forces you to. And that's why I love it. And it's so, so, so incredible. But self-titled is stacked heavily, really, really, really heavily. I can't do it. I can't do it. I think that's a really good position for 7-Eleven. Could it be higher? Maybe. Could it be lower? I don't think so. I don't think so, me personally, actually. I don't think so. Next song right about 7-Eleven. I'm giving to Haunted. Mm-hmm. When I listen to Haunted, it feels like I'm on the run, on a motorcycle. Very important key differentiation. Not in a car, on a motorcycle. So like any of those scenes from Black Widow, which I just saw a couple days ago, which was actually very good. It was better than I was expecting, and I was expecting it to be good. And it was better than I was expecting. So take that with what you will. But you know, that's what I felt when I listened to Haunted. Like I'm sh down, I've never, I've been on a motorcycle a couple of times, but I was not driving it. That's what I feel. One of those, not a, not, a, not one of those, mm -mm, not one of the big boys. Compact motorcycle, like what Mrs. Incredible uses. One of those bikes, that's what I feel. And I'm on the run on a highway, hair blowing, and I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's what I feel when I listen to the song. You know when people made music that envelops you from your toes to the tip of your head to the very ends of your hair? That's haunted. That's haunted. Full body experience, not just mental game. And that's why is this is not top five yet. It's not top five yet, but we're getting really, really, really close. We're getting really, really close. And I feel like I could actually put Haunted above this next song, but I know if I were to listen to this next song, I'm like, no, you can't. So the song right above Haunted is XO. This is gospel music. XO is gospel music. I don't know what, you, what? What are you talking about? XO, this is a gospel song. This is, do you know the type of gospel music that makes former Catholic school kids get up? That's what this is. Gospel music. EXO is gospel. We don't, we don't, we don't see this anymore. We can't. We can't. Not today. Because the, 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 what's required to make something like this, I don't, I don't know if the water has that, has that quality. I think Beyonce gets her own water from somewhere because it doesn't happen. What this song takes you back to is ignorant bliss. What, that's why we love it so much. Sorry, I'm here to tell you, it's ignorant bliss. It takes you back to when the world didn't make sense, but it wasn't this bad, you know, it wasn't this bad. It was at that time, 2014, Ignorant bliss, you mean you're aware, because you know, you're 
12, 13, but the world isn't as awful as it is now, or you're not aware that the world is as awful as it is now. So this song takes me back to pure, ignorant bliss in the way it's sung. And that feeling, it's exhilarating, it's energizing, it transports you back with simple notes and words. How is she able to do this? I say this in every video I talk about Beyonce because whenever I listen to Beyonce, I become my full and true self, right? But I can't listen to Beyonce all the time. All the time. I do. <laughs> but I like to like not. So when I do listen to Beyonce, I listen to Homecoming Live all the time. But like the studio albums, when I sit down and listen to a studio album every once in a while, I'm like, yes, sometimes you need to just get, you know how you need to hydrate? You know how you need to hydrate to be alive? Some, you need to just play Beyonce music to be alive. I feel like as for your self-improvement care journey, I would recommend playing a Beyonce album once a week. All the way through. Pick one. I think self titles a good one. It'll take you on a bit of an emotional, jarring roller coaster, but you'll have fun while doing it. So I agree with all that. However, this album is stacked. So it's not in my top five. Blame Beyonce, don't blame me. Blame Beyonce for making too good music. That the, the, the song that I just called gospel can't make it in the top five. Blame her. Don't blame me. Don't shoot the messenger. All right, don't do that. Now, are we in top five? No, we're in top six. Am I right? I'm sorry. Next song, right above EXO. Is this right? Yes, it is. Next song above EXO is Pretty Hurts. Pretty really does hurt. It's exhausting. This is my second favorite video from this era, actually. Um, the next song is my favorite video, actually. Beyonce's an actress. I don't know why you guys like to do that. She's an actress. Actress. Fully trained. Beyonce's an actress. Go watch them. Go, go watch. If you haven't watched them in a while, go watch all of them. Beyonce's an actress. It is so interesting because I don't personally gravitate towards this song often and it's because I can't handle it. The song is too good. The song is too good. And now that I listen to it more often uh, for this video, the song is too good. It's so good that I'm putting it in my top six. But I don't listen to it that often because it's a little too... Gets you a little bit too much in the chest. A little bit too much in the chest. And that's how it is with some songs on here. They're just too potent to handle all at once. Like I can't just throw it on and listen to it in the background. It has to, I have to be aware that I'm listening to this song. So I have to like listen to it and I have to feel it. Can't just do it passively. It has to be actively. Pa actively. Active. 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 That's why I feel pretty hurts. I really like this song. It's my second favorite video. That's what I want to talk more about. That video is so... She's an actress. Please, please stop. It's so, so, so good. Beyonce is talking about pageantry and issues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Miss Actress. I love this song. Again, I can't listen to that often, but I'm aware of how good it is. So that's why it's in my top six. I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm not stupid. Okay, now we're in my top five. This is a pretty, pretty good one. I do have to say to myself, I'm really, oh, I'm always proud of my top fives, but I think this is really, really good. Okay, so the fifth best song on Beyonce's self-title is mine featuring Drake. It's a little too good. You know, it's a little too, I don't like to give it, yeah. It's a little too good. I'm gonna be honest. Let me not. It's a little too good. Um, so I didn't give this song enough back when it came out. So maybe I'm who what those 10,000 tweets calling this song underrated are talking about. But everyone else seems to know what you guys are talking about. But I guess every single tweet has been about me. Because no, I did not give this song attention when it first came out. So I guess you guys are talking about me. It's a little bit too good. It's a little bit too good. This is my purse. This is my purse personal favorite video from this era. I think it's tied with partition. We'll see. It reminds me 
it is similar now that we black is king has come out and we've watched it so many times some of some similar things some similar some similar things um especially like the, the same some of the same moves that she was doing the desert it was really really interesting like it's really interesting seeing taking the material that we have from Beyonce now and going back and watching her old videos and her old shit and seeing similarities and like really stark differences into how she's grown and evolved as an artist and how she's been able to bring her old past through her individual albums this whole entire time. Amazing. I really like this song. I am the person you're talking about who didn't give it anything when it first came out. I understand now. I was just like, eh, it's okay. But I understand now. The song is pretty good. It's not top three though, guys. Calm it down. It's very good. Um, it's not top three. No, it's not the best song on this album. You guys were doing a lot because you thought it was underrated. You were doing a lot. It's good. It's a good song. Let me stop there before I, mm -hmm, let me stop there. So the fourth best song on Beyonce's self-titled album is Partition. I'm gonna say it if nobody else will. Let's give thanks and praise. And I am so serious. Let's get up and give thanks and give praise. Put your arms up and rejoice because Beyonce didn't need to give us this song. This was completely optional. This was voluntary. She didn't need to give us this song. She didn't need to give us material to have me start in this chair right here, start climbing into this rolly chair and busting my ass, trying to replicate her movements. She didn't need to give us that. It was not necessary, but it was out of her own volition and choice. And for that, we have to be grateful and thankful. Like she didn't need, she didn't have to give us the perfect background music to trying dangerous acrobatics on our beds and on our chairs and on our tables, but that's what happened. And that's why we're all so fabulous today. It's true. No, it's really, really honestly, truly and truly true because without partition, where would I be as an individual? Where without this album, where would I be as an individual? Not here. Not here. That was happening. Partition. I don't know if a lot of people put this in their top five. It's one. It's it's one of my favorite songs on this album. Um, I felt like a true because I. Sp I took French in high school. I speak French. I hated French and I was really, really bad at it. But I was like, when I got her French part down, I said, I am bilingual. I don't know. I walked into my French class all confident for a couple of months because I knew that French part down. I said, I know everything. I don't need to be nervous coming into the class anymore. So not only did Beyonce help me in my personal life, she helped me academically. She helped me with my French duties and my French schooling. Who else has done that? Who else has cross educational impact like that? Nobody. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. So I'm ever so grateful for the song Partition. I'm ever so grateful that I'm allowed to listen to it every single day for the rest of my life. So that's why Partition is number, number four. But because these next three songs are encapsulate what partition gives but are better in my opinion it was it was partition couldn't go further up than four it was it's a very hard four the the three the next three please literally please partition isn't holding a candle to any of them even i just talked so highly about it not the next song in top three we're in top three now the third best mm -hmm, the third best song sorry i can't sit still the third best song on beyonce self-titled is drunk in love don't lie to yourself don't lie to yourself play drunk get your headphones play drunk in love right now and then tell me that I'm wrong. I don't wanna do it either. Do you think I wanna do this either? Do you think I even wanna say that the remix is actually good too? No, but I have to do what I have to do for the music. This song 
was my favorite song <laughs> off of this album when I was like 11. I basically acted like no other song on this album ever existed for a minute because I loved this song so, 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 so much. And I even like it more now. Drunken Love has aged so well. A lot, not a lot of these songs on this album have aged so well, but Drunk in Love has aged so, 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 so well. The, the song is structurally perfect. Gonna have to put it out there. Um, if nobody else will, I'll do it. The song is structurally perfect. Like I, I can excuse the the breakfast is my breakfast bullshit. I can I can leave it alone. I can leave that alone for one day because the song is too good. The song is too good. That's not even his. Like I can I can um. Because the song is a little a little bit too good. Nearing eerie levels. I don't really know how they were able to do this. I mean I know talent but from a try to understanding standpoint I don't know how they did this so Drunken Love is the third best song on self-titled in my personal opinion but it's not as good as the next two the second best song on self-titled is Rocket yeah it's just too much where else was I supposed to put Rocket where is that supposed to go? You can get down to this song. You can do whatever you want to this song. You can dance or you can sit and marinate with the song and just listen to the way Beyonce is able to create music. So you can throw your whole party listening to Rocket. You can get down, you can do whatever you need to do listening to Rocket or you can sit there. What she is able to hear in music, what she is able to do with her voice, and what she's able, how she's able to maneuver and manipulate her voice to create this song, the the everyday person cannot. How does that come out of your? I mean, how does a song like Rocket? How do you think that, and then make it? And it sounds like do, making music seems like the most difficult thing because where did these thoughts come from? Like where did where did where do you hear? How do you hear? Wrong. It's genius. It's it's untouched, unfiltered genius. Go listen to Rocket again. Is this the horniest song on this album? I think so. Not I think so. It definitely is. Um, and it's excellent. It is so, so excellent. You can sing and thrash around with her. It's just, you can do whatever you want with this song. It's versatile. It's a versatile song, but it definitely has one concrete purpose. <laughs> but it's a versatile song. It matters of what you can do with it. And it just really, all of Beyonce's songs make me appreciate how talented she is in an artist, as an artist. But listening to Rocket with headphones just laying down makes me just like, you are a gift. The gift. Because I don't know how we can, I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this happened. And Rocket's one of my favorite songs. Is it my most, I said... It's one of my most played because it's in my like sleeping playlist. So I really enjoy Rocket. That's the second best song. But it's the second best song. I think we all knew what the best song on self-titled was. I think we were aware of that this whole time. I'm sure everyone has different answers for what the best song is on self-titled. I, and I'm sure you feel strongly about it, as do I. And that's, isn't that the sign of a good album? Isn't it the sign of something that is so inspirational to the soul that it evokes such a personal response when you're asked what your favorite song is? Isn't that, isn't that what, isn't that signif- isn't that what this is now? Isn't that what this is a, dis this is a display of? So the best song on Beyond the Self-Titled is Blow. One of the greatest pop songs ever made. One of the greatest songs ever made. How? 
how Beyonce was able to redefine and encapsulate bubblegum, electric, horny, caramel funk. She really redefined what it means to make music. Really defined what it means to sing, what it means to be a talented singer, what it means to create a body of work. Redefine that with what we're talking about today. This whole album, not just Blow. Redefine what it means to make a body of work she was able to take a sound and transmit one of the greatest pop songs. I, this is not your typical pop record. This is not your typical pop record, guys. Not everyone can understand this. <laughs> it's Blow. Am I doing a lot? I don't think I'm doing enough. Am I biased because Blow is one of my favorite Beyonce songs of all time? Perhaps. You might be correct. But you can mind your own business and you can let me talk amazingly about this amazing song. How a song, it, a lot of Beyonce songs, this is why, one of the many reasons why I love Beyonce, a song is like a dose of confidence. Like, you know, you could go to therapy or you could listen to Blow. How it would give like a vial of confidence, that's what this song gives to me. And we know that because a lot of Beyonce songs give you a vial of confidence. It's just too, what else am I supposed to put here? What else am I supposed to put here? What? No, not that either. Not that either. No, no, no. Listen to the song. Listen to the song. Listen to Blow. Aren't you up out of your seat? Aren't you fake? Aren't you fake dancing? I know you're not sitting down. I really encourage everyone to like sit and listen to self-titled all the way through especially if you haven't in a while if you've just been listening like on shuffle listen to it like we did the night that it's a price drop listen to it like that if you haven't in a while it when we talk about visionaries why wouldn't beyonce be the topic of conversation who are you talking about Because I'm just, it's just too good. It's just too good and I might need to remake my Beyonce ranking video because did I just convince myself that I was wrong? Perhaps, maybe, so we'll see. It's just too, I'm gonna go listen to Blow right now in the shower because it's just too fucking good. She redefined roller skating. Roller skating did not exist before Beyonce. So that's my ranking of Beyonce's self-titled. Um, so let me know what your rank. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what your ranking is gonna be. I'm interested to see because I'm interested into what. Where, cause I'm like, I know, this happens every time. Um, a lot of people's like top three is in my absolute bottom three. So I would like to see which song that's gonna happen to this time. Cause I don't know, you guys could surprise me. I think mine makes sense, but you know, it only has to make sense to me, right? So let me know what your ranking favorite songs, least favorite songs, etc., are from Beyonce's self-titled. Let me know in the comments. I once again recommend listening to Beyonce all the time, but especially just like once a week. It does so much for yourself. Mm-hmm. No, it's true. It's really, really, truly true. Music heals, guys. Music heals, right? Healing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to click the link in the description box to get your free one month trial of Skillshare to learn about everything, literally everything you search in the search bar, anything pops up. I've typed absolute nonsense in there and anything pops up. So if you would like to do that, click the link in the description box. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching my video, which was kind of all over the place, but we'll see. All right, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.